around and then over, and now we're climbing here. You could, we went over back there. You can see both tracks. Yeah, I, 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 uh, yeah, the Swiss have a lot of, a lot of trains. I'm thinking that there's just stone in the ground and almost everywhere. And it's like, if you, I mean, that's why this isn't being farmed, because it's probably too rough. Would you lose? It ended up on the floor. Here. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I think we'll need to crack them up. I, mean, I, think this, I, I mean, I think this is just all rocks. what coal he's using. Yes, it does. Being from Pittsburgh, I can tell you, that sulfur coal, boy, did it stink. And it was black. I don't know if they had anthracite here or bituminous, or even if it's using coal, but... You know, it could be using both, maybe. What do you think? Wood and coal? I, I, I think that's another question to ask. Which fuel, what kind of coal, 
I mean, if it is cool, what kind? Because with all the rock and slate, you'd think it might be I, I mean, I would think it might be anthracite, which I think burns the hottest and cleanest, but I mean, it doesn't hurt. It's just that I have this tickle. I mean, big American steam engines pulling a, a, a loaded train up a hill with smoke. I mean, that would be just black smoke. We were in Pennsylvania. My wife's nephew got married. He's up by the, the Poconos. And coming back, we stopped the Yigley Beer Distributor. Well, now it's the largest American-owned beer company in the longest in family in North America. But then there was some coal mines we went down in. They were telling us about the different types of coal. Can I remember that? No. It's a respectable. I just remember that there's bituminous and anthracite, and I don't know what the one for lignite. That's the other one. Okay. I mean, something must be. It could be burning oil. I mean, I, I, or no, except we saw the coal. So, no, it's got to be coal. Wow, this is an unguarded well, I don't think they have a whole lot of highway traffic here. No, I don't think they do. There's one. Yeah.
comes to an end if, if their timing is that is what they said. Just a few minutes until noon. So we're probably coming to the end. Oh. Yeah, we will. Yeah. Oh, that ring in the airfield is good. But still, you know, I, I, I guess it doesn't run. Anymore. What was here first, the railroad or the house? I know. I would good think point, but I, but I don't know. I, the railroad probably. I would say. Because if it was built in 1839. Some of these houses may go back that long. Yeah, but some of those houses go back that long. I don't, I don't think so. But. I mean, houses like this, I mean, the train is right here. I mean, on top. Right. It's almost in their. It's in their backyard. Or, or do they used to put water? Put the railroad. And then you brought houses and the, the people work on the railroad. You had to be. It was like. Uh, or work in the, the quarries. Yeah. You see some farmers, but you don't yeah, see. Yeah, Let's pay for quarries. You know, it's a lot of shoes, lamb. I mean, we haven't seen hardly any of that on the, in, you know, this, this is sort of a slate country. These flowers are... From sheep to lambos, they're like a lawnmower. They eat everything. Yeah, they are good at that. In St. Louis, you can hire herds of goats to, to for weed control. And they will bring them out to your place, wherever it is. Give them water and put it like a... And they will bite them. Yeah. But you got to put two of them together. Well, I, I, they bring a herd. Oh, they bring a whole herd. Oh, well, I, I don't know how big a herd is, but it's more than two. That's all I have. I mean, of course, it probably depends on how, much, how big it is, too. And, uh, how many, I don't know how many goats they have totally available, how many other people want to, you know, so I mean, it's, 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 it's the property cleaned up, they're not bringing chainsaws and, and mulching it or chipping well, you know, it away. Well, you know, they try to use a lawnmower or a string, I mean, uh, in certain, um, you know, with certain options, certain shapes, there's no way to do it. Except they go to it. And they enjoy it. And then when it's all said and done, you had to go for dinner. After I went to, there's a place in St. Louis where they have goats and you can interact with them. It's for children and I, we took our grandchildren there. And after the very first goat kid jumped up on me and wanted to spawn in a tree, I could never eat goat again. And I'm not sure I can eat lamb again after seeing all these baby lambs. I, I, I am a goat. I mean lamb. I, I, but seeing all these baby lambs. And, uh, Aren't they cute? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, my wife has already told me she's not going to eat right now anymore, so I, I don't know if she'll stick to that. But, but it certainly made me rethink it, too. They are cute in the little way. But I mean, the goats jumping up, up, up on me, I cannot ever eat a goat again. And I can barely eat duck because we have a pair of ducks that come to visit us. Mr. and Mrs. Duck, we call them. And, you know, I understand. Once you get acquainted with these creatures, I, I, yeah, can't, like I, can't, I can't eat them anymore. Which I guess is. We were in Africa, and we're on a we're going on a road here. The restaurant we came, we weren't going to eat there. We just came up. The special of the day was R A D. 
All right, take breath. That's what I thought you said. I, I got a picture. I got like to get a picture. No one's ever going to play for me. Special. Yeah, the bus is around yeah. there. Is this our stop?